welcome back to my bathroom and welcome to episode 27 of Is It <laughs> For today, it's a Timu Halloween haul. We'll try all this together and rate it one through 10. Before we start, do your tithing. Subscribe, like, click the buttons, bells, whistles. It helps me to continue to make these really high quality videos here in this bathroom. Cheers. Also, don't forget to check out my website. It's in the description box. Description box. I'll be posting some of these things for a dollar free shipping as just a little way to say thank you for being here and watching whatever this is. First up, we have a Cowboy Rider pet costume. This is $6. The exact same one is $13 on Amazon. Dr. W is wearing a size medium. Fits true to size. It Velcros on the neck and the belly. This is a solid 10, right? Whoa. This is a cowboy hat for your dog. One size fits all. It secures around the neck. Hard to see because Moose has six chins. This was $2. This is also a 10. This wine glass is also from Timu. It was $5. It's a nice skull head with a very small stem. It's real glass. Um, the words aren't wording. It looked like it was going to be a full glass of wine. It only holds about a shot's worth. I'm not taking a shot of root beer. I am shotgunning root beer. I love root beer. I love when you crack it open and it gives your brain a little you could clean toilets with root beer. It's gonna burn your insides. Anyway, not what I was expecting. I would give it a zero, but we are doing cinnamon apple tea today. And that's a nice fall blend. This is an alien costume. This is $23 and it is an adult costume. It's just like the Jeep dealership one we did last week. It has the blower ladies and the battery pack. What kind of face is that? Here's what it looks like. The material on this one is a lot thinner than the one we did last week, the Jeep dealership woo guy. I actually like that because it's more flexible. The zipper has two sides, so you can unzip yourself if needed, so you don't suffocate. Suffocate. So you don't suffocate. Tight around the ankles. What is that called? Spandex, tight spandex around the ankles. That part is a little uncomfortable, but I understand it needs to be tight so the air will stay in, so you don't deflate. All in all, I thought this was actually a really good costume. I'm gonna give this an eight. Spider earrings, these are a dollar. These actually looked like the listing. Can you see that? These are fun. They're only fun from the side. From this angle forward, it looks odd. They're a little loosey-goosey though. They're gonna come out. I'm gonna give these a six. Kind of weird, kind of cool. This is a ghost rug. It's $6. Very deceiving because the photo makes it appear a lot larger than it is. We need to know how tall this lady child is. Doesn't quite match the description. Are you surprised, bitch? Look at me doing it. It's a nice fluffy material, and I wouldn't call this a doormat. This is more like a bath mat. After you get out of the shower, it's that soft material. The backing though is really nice. This is fun. Is this fun? This is fun. This is just okay. I'd give it a four. This is an Easy Bake Coven shirt. It's $7. I'm wearing a size small and this is nice, y'all. This is nice. The material is actually really soft. This is one of those wrinkle-free shirts, I guess. The vinyl, is that vinyl? I don't know. The plasticky stuff looks a little cheap when you get up close, but this is fantastic. I'm a super fan of the Easy Bake Oven. I have, well, I have every version of it. I collect 90s, early 2000s, early 2000s. Toys from the early 2000s. I collect those because I'm trying to fill a void. Um, anyway, I love it. This is a solid 10. This is a nail ring. This is a dollar. Looks like this. When you put it on, it makes it look like there's a nail through your finger. I don't know if that's fooling anyone. Maybe Ray Charles would go for that. You would need to put some of that costume blood on it so it looked like a real nail piercing through. That'd make a pretty nifty engagement ring. I'm gonna give this an eight. I actually like this. I'm gonna wear it again. We have a bag of roaches. You can get 100 for $5. Hey, not the best fake fox roach I've ever seen. It's a roach, but it will do. I'd give it a five. I'm gonna put those roaches in this bowl I got. This is my witch bowl or a cauldron. This was $5. Honestly, I feel like I could get this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Don't you hate that? And if you're in my Dollar Tree, they have $25 items. Bitch, this is the Dollar Tree. I'm not spending $25 on one thing, but I will buy 25 things for a dollar. I'll do that. This is where I'm gonna put my lottery tickets for the kids down the street at the end of the driveway. That looks good, actually. Also in my cauldron, I'm gonna put these in there. This is a pack of 10,000 stones. I wanna count these so bad, I can't stand it. 
These were $3. They glow in the dark, and I don't know why I believe the pictures on Timu anymore, but on the picture, they had someone that had lined their driveway with these. So I thought somewhere, some way, somehow, I was gonna be able to line my driveway with these. I really did. I'm just gonna leave them in this candy bowl and put lottery tickets, and I got some Pokemon cards this year for those little brats down the road. They were trying to sell me some Pokemon cards the other day. What kind of drug deal is this? I don't want your damn Pokemon card. Is it a foil card? I gave them $5 for the Pokemon card. So they can dip their hand in this and maybe you'll get a roach or maybe you'll get a Pokemon card. I don't know about it. Back to the cauldron. I'm gonna give this a one. This is some shit. Hang on. This is some stuff you can get at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna give these rocks a one too because the picture was deceiving, but they're still cool. Looks exactly like the photo. This is something a little spooky. This is a skull fairy. What the hell? On a piece of plywood. This is $9. Look at that. Get up close to that thing. See it for all its beauty. Looks like this thing needs an oxygen tank. <sighs> kind of creepy, but I do like the nice iridescent glowy paint on the wing. I hate when they do that. There's no spot to put the thumbtack. This is a little too spooky for me. What do you think? I'm gonna give this a solid six. I think it's kind of neat, but kind of weird. This is a scissor headband. $2 for this. This snaps into here. There's some body fluids on it. Oh, realistic as heck. This came in a bunch of different styles. There was a syringe, scissors, axe, and a knife. This looks exactly like some junk they would sell at that Spirit Halloween. Whoa, what the hell? Spirit Halloween store, which I don't know when ours is gonna open. Can y'all hurry the hell up? The Kmart has been empty for years. Put the Spirit Halloween in there. Look at it from far away. Now close your eyes, it looks better. I'm gonna give this a nine. This has potential to be great. It can be a good thing from far away. Yeah. These are bat wing earrings. These are $1.34. Whoa, they're heavy. They're actual metal. I'm gonna give these an eight. They're a little too heavy because the metal could be plastic. Can we do that? Eco-friendly paper. Paper earrings, they dissolve, good for the earth. This is a Beetlejuice dress. This is $18. I'm wearing a size small and it fit true to size. It ties in the front here. It has pockets, buttons from top to bottom. The material, I don't know, what is that material? There's no tag. Okay. The material kind of feels like a really thin denim, if that makes, it's a canvas, like a canvas bag. You ever had one of those, a shopping tote from Trader Joe's? Feels a little bit like that. It needs to be washed with a ton of fabric softener. Or what's that trick that you can use to make t-shirts feel really old and vintage? You put borax, fabric softener and something and soak it. I don't know. Whatever that is, it needs to be done. I'm going to give it a solid six. I think with some tweaking, you'll look less referee and more 1950s. We have some crow toothpicks. Oops, some of them are broken. For $2, you get 12 of these. Check out the detail. Oh, that's the best one, the flying one. I wish it was double-sided. I can paint the back of that black. Bitch, when are you going to do that? I'm not going to do that. The back should be black. It's in the details. These are Fun to put in some cupcakes, spooky stuff. I guess I shouldn't be touching them. I do like these though. I'd give them a solid seven. This is a garlic hair clip. This is a dollar. What do you think? I think it looks really neat. It looks like a real piece of garlic. But I also think if I didn't tell you what it was, you would have no idea. But I'm gonna give it a 10. Flame LED lights. You get two of these for $7. They're plastic. These don't look like a flame. It just looks like an orange light that's about to blow up. I think it's fun for Halloween, but not what I was expecting. And it got really great reviews, which I'm not really sure about Timu reviews. There must be an incentive, incentive to write reviews on Timu because everyone just leaves positive reviews. You cannot possibly think all this garbage is great. One lady even said her husband sold light bulbs or some junk, and he said these are better than the ones that he was dealing with. Dealing and light bulbs. These are okay at best. I would give them a three. This is a tentacle rug. This is $9. It's got the texture to a piece of felt. It puts the fun and not functional. You put this close to the door and it's supposed to look like an octopus is floating under the door, flatten their bodies under the door, you know, like a flat rat like Henry, my squirrel. He can flatten his body and get under the door. I would give this an eight. These are vampire teeth. You get four fangs for $2. It's got the little hole, ladies, so you can slip a tooth in there. A nice little point. That actually looks cool. The only negative is these don't come with that dental wax. You need wax for them to stay on. But they actually look really cool. Better than those little plastic ones that you go like this. These are a solid seven. This is an adoption ghost. This is $4. It's got little eyes in it. This looks like a damn cotton ball in a jar. That's some junk we can make at home from the Dollar Tree. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that looks nice. Without the roaches, I'd give this a one. This is a pumpkin sweater. It's a crop 
crop top. It's $14. I'm wearing a size small. It fits true to size. It has this really nice cat hair material on it. It's really soft, but not itchy on the inside. I love this sweater. I just wish it was a full length sweater. If I'm wearing a sweater, I'm probably cold. I don't get that. All the sweaters in the stores right now, they're damn. They're crop top. I gotta wear my pants up to my chin for that to work out, which I do anyway, because Higher the pants, higher the protection. Remember that. Anyway, I'd give this an eight. This is a teeth ring. It's $1.50. It says it's one size fits all, but it does not move. It's actually pretty small. Looks gorgeous though. I actually really like it. I mean, it does kind of give off candy machine vibes, but I'm gonna give it an eight. We've got two pieces of fine art. First up for $2, whoa, that's on canvas this time. The last few times all the art has been on paper and they bend it when they ship it because they really don't give a shit when they pack this stuff. This is a vampire holding, oh, a dead crow, yikes. Sucking its blood. This would look great in a black frame though. Heck, I'd give it a nine. This one's also $2 and it is a ghost with cowboy boots. And it's a really thick material canvas with a cute little frame. This is perfect. This is also a 10. Here is my giant spider. It comes in three different sizes. This was the largest size. <laughs> Let me just show you the photo of this man, or is this a woman, holding this spider. The deception in this photo, the lies. Not as big as the photo is portraying, but I was just at Home Depot the other day and they're selling a similar spider to this for about $30 and the really, really big one, which I thought that's what I was getting, those are about $60. Even though it doesn't look like the photo, I'm still gonna give it a 10 because for $5, that's good. Lastly, this is for a pet dragon, or what are those things called? Bearded dragon, yeah, it's a bearded dragon. We have the gold chain and the crown. This was $2. I got this for Henry to wear. He wore it for a second. He's not a big fan of costumes, and he bites me a lot. I would give it a 10. Thanks for joining me here in the bathroom. Don't forget all the links to these items and a coupon code are in the description box below. Also, some of these will be on my website for a dollar free shipping sometime today. To end this with the words of wisdom, we're gonna go with, what are we gonna go with? Disconnecting is a great thing and it's a hard thing. We don't have to be Amish people and totally throw our phones away, but we can replace our scrolling with something productive today. Just for one day, try it out. Go touch a tree reading an actual book, playing a game, learning a new skill, go bowling, remember? Are you going bowling yet? Hug your neighbor. Not mine though, he's kind of weird. You know, the ones over here, they're weird. They think I'm weird too, so it's, it's mutual. Anyway, I appreciate you being here. I will see you next week. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm not really good at planning ahead, but I hope you'll join me. It'll be here in this bathroom at Sunday, it's at Sunday. It'll be here in this bathroom Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. What the f It will be here in this bathroom Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. So I will see you then for something cool. Something. I feel like my dad would like Halloween. I have no idea who my dad is. <laughs> it's a rolling hill. Remember ladies, everything looks good in the dark. F this light. I'd give this a solid 10. Pumpkin pie. I put it in the freezer. Unless you want to take a shot of root beer. God bless you. Tacking the eyes. They'll attack you. Fake ass Tupperware. Fake A Tupperware.